How often do you use callouts in your world? I do it often and it's always frustrating to add new callouts and it's even worse when you forget syntax if you have a poor memory like me. There are few callouts that are supported in Obsidian which you can see in the documentation section of obsidian help.obsidian.md and you can see here is a callout and these are different types of callouts that are supported. And if you have to add a callout manually, you will have to follow the syntax, right? First, write the greater than sign, then the bracket, exclamation. Let's create a callout for tip, which we can see here. And we can create that by writing tip. This is how you normally have to add a callout in Obsidian. It's pretty tiring, right? But what if I told you there is a better way to add callouts? And this is what I am going to show you in this video. Let me show you my current workflow for adding callouts in my vault. I will just press the hotkey Alt C and it will open this window where I can select the type of callout that I want to make. For example, let's say example. I will create a callout type called example and you can also choose the fold position. I'll make it collapse now. Now, now you can write the title of the note. I'll just write it example. And here you need to write content of that callout. This is the example. And if you want to add new line, simply press shift enter and it will open a new line. Click on submit and you will have a call out over here. And it currently it is in fold, fold position. As you could see previously that we had a command to choose whether we want the call out to expand or collapse. We choose the collapse option and here we have a collapsed call out. This is possible with the help of a templater function that I am using in my vault. I will show you how you can do this in your vault too. So let me go to a new vault so that I can show you from the beginning. Here I am into a new vault. First we'll need to install a plugin called Templator. If you don't have it installed, you'll need it first. So go to Comedy Plugins, search for Templator and install it, go to Options. Now you'll need to create a template folder. I think you have already done that. But since I'm showing in a new vault, I, am, I have to create the template folder again. And I'll create a template note over here, call out. Now choose this template folder over here. And I know a lot of you might already be using Templator, but if you are not using Templator, I suggest you use Templator because Templator can help you to automate a lot of things in Obsidian with the help of variables and functions. And enable this option, trigger Templator on new file creation. I'll just enable it here. Now you can create a template hotkey. I'll select callout, add it here. Now we can use the hotkey in order to apply that callout template whatever name you have assigned to that template and here you can see I can add a hotkey and I will use alt c over here. Now we need to add the templator functions to our template. This is the templator function that we need to add. I provide the link to the templator function in the description of this video from where you can directly copy the code or you can also download this uh, template file and move it in inside your vault. Once you have done that you can just close this one. Now let's create a new file over here in our new vault. Let's try to add a callout. We'll use the hotkey Alt C and you can see we can select. There is an option to select the callout type. Choose the one that you want to use. Let's say I want to use the abstract and there are three options, none, expanded and collapse. Fold options which you can choose. If you choose the none option, the callout will be flagged, which means you will have no option to expand or collapse that callout. Expanded means it will open in the expanded view and collapsed means it will open up in the collapsed view at first. Let me show you example for all of these three callout fold options. Here are three callout examples but with different fold options. The first one is with none, second one is expanded which you can collapse and the third one is collapsed which you can expand. So this is a simple tutorial on how you can make your workflow for adding callouts to your nodes in Obsidian easier. I hope you find this video helpful and useful if you find this useful please don't forget to like the video because it helps in keeping my energy for creating videos very high that's all for this video have a great time meet you next time bye bye